Hey guys, Israel Santana here. Um, in this video, I wanted to focus on three types of ways that you can trade a stock. Now, these are not the only ways to trade a stock, but for the purpose of a beginning stage, I wanted to focus on these three types of trading. The first type of trading that I'm going to talk about is the most popular one and the most common one, and it's called day trading. Day trading is the buying and selling of a stock on the same day, or the selling and buying of a stock in the same day. Now, to give you an example of how a uh, day trade takes place is with the following. Let's say you buy a stock called ABC. Let's say you buy it on a Monday at 9.31 in the morning, and then you sell it at 9.32 in the morning, just a minute apart. That's a day trade. Now, let's say you buy the same stock, ABC, on a Monday, but you don't sell it that day. So you wait for Tuesday. Then when you wait for Tuesday, and the market opens at 9.30, let's say you sell the stock, you sell ABC. So as soon as you sell ABC, you notice that it still has potential to grow. So what do you do? You buy the same stock again. So then that's an, uh, another way of, of day trading, the selling and buying of a stock in the same day. The second style of trading that I wanna talk about is a more technical way of trading and it's called swing trading. Swing trading is the buying and selling of a stock within a period of time whether it is days, weeks, but it's never more than two weeks. So for example, let's say you buy a stock uh, called LB on a Monday. If you buy LB on a Monday and then you sell it on a Tuesday, that's a perfect example of a swing trading. As well, if you buy, let's say on a Monday, LB, and you sell it a week from that day or two weeks after that, that's another perfect example of a swing trade. The last type of trading that I wanted to talk about before I finish this video is long-term trading. Although it follows the same principles as swing trading, there's a huge difference. With swing trading, you buy and sell a stock within a period of time, but it's never more than two weeks. So just by the name of it, long-term, what do you think? Yeah, you buy and sell, but the difference of a, from the time you buy and sell is a huge gap. So instead of waiting two weeks to sell the, the stock, like a swing trade, you keep it for a month, two, three, four, even a year. There's people that buy a stock in January and they don't sell it until December of the same year. So that's the difference between swing trading and long-term trading. It usually takes a longer period of time to sell. Now, the uh, people that do this is because a lot of these companies that they invest their money in have this thing called dividend. Dividends are a thing, uh, percentage that company pays you for you holding a share of their company. That could be anything between 50 cents per share, a dollar. Each company has the different type of uh, dividend. Some companies don't have dividends at all, but I just wanted to make the difference clear between swing trading and long-term trading, that although they follow the same principles in terms of time, they differ. Thank you so much for watching and see you guys soon.